Hi, everyone. So this is a speech I gave today at the Solidarity Knows No Borders uh, Larry, uh, which took place today at the Coventry Cathedral, um, Cathedral Steps. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming despite the weather. We are protesting this weekend all around the country and raising our voices against the hotel environment that is taking away dignity for migrants and refugees, and it is costing lives. We are here to mark 10 years since the murder of our brother, Jimmy Mubenga, not in the US, but here in the UK. Jimmy Mubenga was murdered when G4S guards restrained him on the plane, despite him say he couldn't breathe. As George Floyd's killers, has just been given a bail and released. G4S guards were cleared of murdering Jimmy Mubenga. One witness said, Jimmy shouted, I can't breathe. His wife said, I feel so sad, I don't know. I was thinking if I were there to help him. The children can't stop crying and I don't know what to say to them. The passengers on the plane were offered counseling. The guards were cleared of all wrongdoing. Today, we are remembering everyone, everyone that has died as a consequence of wholesale environment policies, including some of the lives lost here in Coventry. I would be here all day if I had to list all of them. I'm finishing on this. Not all victims' names are lost, as Yazwood is filling up again with refugees. Let us say his name, Manuel Bravo, within hours of his removal to Yazwood, Manuel Bravo was composing a suicide note. I do not have a life anymore, he wrote. My son Antonio is to stay here in the UK to continue his education. Antonio, I do not want you to go back to Angola to suffer. He made the ultimate sacrifice to protect his son. He hung himself so in his death, his son could be safe in the UK. There's a project in Leeds named after him, the Manuel Bravo project, which gives free legal advice to asylum seekers and refugees. So I'll leave the last words for him. His last words to his son were, be brave, work hard, do it at school. Let us mourn the dead and fight for the living. Solidarity.